Question. How do you take this, put it onto here, and play it on that? Well, you'll need one of these. This is the Dreamcast SD adapter. And this will allow you to play homebrew games and applications as well as commercial games. But you probably do not want to buy it specifically to play commercial games. Mainly because they don't play very well. Uh, mainly because of the slow transfer rate of the serial port on the Dreamcast. A lot of games will play choppy, especially when loading music and just some of them will be playable, others not quite. So basically all you need to do is put the games you want onto the SD card, place the SD card into the adapter, like so, place it into the serial port here, Once you do that, you will need one more thing, and that would be Dream Shell 4.0 Beta 4. And you don't need that exact version, but Dream Shell will allow you to boot the games from the SD card. Otherwise, you just boot up your Dreamcast, it'll just act like normal, and nothing will happen. So, without further ado, let's take a look at some gameplay and see how well the games work. Alright, so here we are looking at Dream Shell, which is the operating system we'll need to boot from the SD card. This particular version is Beta 4, as you can see here. There are earlier versions, but this is the latest, as of this video. So basically you have four main things. You have the console, the region changer, which will actually allow you to change the region of your console so you can play imports. Uh, the in installer, which allows you to uh, actually flash Dream Shell to the Dreamcast so you don't actually need the CD to boot from. Now, I believe you need a modified Dreamcast for this, so because it did not work when I tried it, but uh, don't quote me on that. Um, so last we have the file manager, which will let you uh, boot your games from the SD card. So here you see all the directories. Um, most of these are uh, here's your VMU here. Uh, the rest are on the CD. Uh, but the top one here is your SD card. I only have a couple things on here to show you right now. Um, I will be doing future videos in which I'll show you some more homebrew games. But for now, uh, let's just try start with a commercial game. This is House of the Dead 2. As you can see, it's just a bit choppy. Alright, so let's start up the game and take a look and see how it plays. The house of the dead.
We're leaving the jeep, 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 jeep over there. Well, that's enough of that, so uh, you can see how well that plays, which is not extremely well. You can see why you wouldn't want to buy this just for commercial games. So let's take a look at the homebrew game. Alright, so let's take a look at a homebrew game. Uh, this is Noise 2 SA, or no Noise 2 SA. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but. stage one. Apparently I'm terrible at this game. Let's skip over to stage five. Well, anyway, you get the idea. It uh, works perfectly. Um, 
unlike the commercial games. So yeah, this has been the uh, Dreamcast SD adapter. Uh, look forward to uh, doing some other videos on other homebrew titles. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please rate, subscribe, comment. Thank you.